The contour flange tool is used to create a sheet metal part feature from a single sketch. It uses the sketch line as a guide to create the profile of the sheet metal part. Here are some things to keep in mind when using the contour flange tool. In the sheet metal part workspace, only a single contour flange, lofted flange, or convert to sheet metal part can be used in a single design. The sketch has to contain at least one straight line. The sketch does not have to be closed. The sketch can intersect itself, and the sketch cannot have multiple start or end points. B splines cannot be used anywhere in the sketch, and circular arcs must be constrained to adjacent figures explicitly with a tangent constraint. To create a sheet metal part like this accordion shape part without this design tool, you would need to create the tab, flange 1, flange 2, flange 3, etc. On the other hand, with a contour flange tool, respecting the seven rules just outlined, you simply sketch the zigzag line representing the edge of the part and apply the contour flange tool. There are three ways to access the contour flange dialog box. One, open the feature menu and select the contour base flange command. Two, click on the contour base flange button on the sheet metal modeling toolbar. And three, if not in sketch mode, you can click on the toggle sketches button on the visibility toolbar if it's not already on, so your sketch becomes visible, and then right click on the sketch and select the contour base flange option. Here's a quick tour of the contour flange dialog box. Sketch. The profile sketch for the contour base flange feature should appear in this entry box. Reverse thickness. This toggles the side of the profile sketch on which the material will be applied. Depth type. This parameter determines whether the profile sketch is extruded into a solid part in one direction for the two depth option or in both directions for the mid plane option. The side of the sketch plane to which the extrusion occurs is controllable with the reverse checkbox. Depth. This parameter determines the width or length of the part relative to the sketch plane that the profile sketch lies on. Bend radius. This defaults to the Libre Design material parameter setting. Overrides of this value will affect all bends in the feature. Bend allowance. This defaults to the K factor option, which is an Libre Design material parameter. Overrides of this value will affect all bends in the feature. Selecting the Unfold Length option will allow you to apply the same unfold length to all bends. Linear Figure as Tab. This defaults to the Auto option, whereby a linear segment in the profile sketch is automatically designated as the tab. Selecting the Manual option allows you to designate any linear segment in the profile sketch as the tab. Label. This allows you to name the contour base flange. If you start to open the contour base flange dialog box, and a warning box appears on screen telling you your sketch is not closed, just click the box next to Do Not Show This Warning, and then click Ignore. Remember, with contour base flange, it doesn't matter whether or not the sketch is closed. Using this tool is much quicker than explaining it. Generally, it goes like this. 1. Click the contour flange button on the toolbar. 2. In the depth section, set the parameters as needed. 3. If the automatic choice is insufficient, designate a line segment as the tab in the linear figure as tab section. And 4. Click OK to create the feature. A contour flange can be exploded, creating a sketch for the tab and each flange, in addition to the original contour sketch. To explode a contour flange feature, right-click on the contour flange in the Design Explorer and select Explode from the pop-up menu. After the explode operation, the initial sketch that was used to create the contour flange can be deleted since it is no longer associated with any geometry in the model. This tutorial covered how the contour flange tool is used to create a sheet metal part feature from a single sketch. It uses the sketch as a guide to quickly create the profile of the sheet metal part and then generates the part.